Before we set up a goal in Google Analytics, let's draw a distinction between two types of goals, business goals and Google Analytics goals. Business goals are actions you want your users to take on your website. Each time a user completes one of your business goals, we call this a conversion. This could be signing up for a newsletter or buying a product. But in Google Analytics, you can use a feature called Goals to track these conversions. Once you configure goals, Analytics will create conversion-related metrics, like the total number of conversions, as well as the percentage of users that converted. We refer to this as the conversion rate. When you set up a goal in Google Analytics, you can also set up a goal funnel. This is a data visualization of the different steps needed to complete that goal. This visual helps you identify where users are dropping out of the conversion process. You must be an administrator on the view in which you want to enable goals in analytics. Also note that you can only set up 20 goals per view, so be thoughtful about the goals which are most important to your business. First, you'll need to decide what you want to track based on your business goals. Since the Google Store is an e-commerce store, one goal they could track is successful checkouts. So let's set up a goal every time a user reaches the checkout confirmation page. We'll also set up a funnel visualization so we can see if users are dropping off on their way to the confirmation page. Note that this goal won't track actual revenue. It will simply track how far users get at each stage of the goal and where they might abandon the process. Creating a funnel visualization to track goal completions is completely optional, but it can add a lot of visibility into each step of the conversion flow. To get started, we'll go into the admin section. Then, under Views, click Goals. Then we'll click New Goal. Note that your goal setup may look a little different than the one for the Google Store, depending on your business type. Analytics provides you with some preset business goal templates. Since we want to track whether users made it to the checkout page for the Google Store, we'll choose Buy Merchandise and click Continue. Because we want to track checkout confirmations, we'll name the goal Checkout Complete. Each goal uses a particular goal slot ID that are numbered from 1 to 20. The goal slot ID is a simple way to organize your goals. The default slot will always be the next slot available. If you're creating your first goal, the goal slot ID will be 1, but you can choose a different slot if you have certain goals that you wish to group together. Next, we'll choose one of our four goal types. Each of these types is triggered by a particular user action. Destination is when a user reaches a specific page on your site, such as a thank you page. Duration is based on the length of a user's session. Pages or screens is based on how many pages a user views in a session and events is for tracking specific actions on a site. We'll cover events more broadly in an advanced course. Note that if you want to create a funnel visualization, you can only use the destination type goal. So we'll select destination and click continue. Next, we'll enter the destination URL of the order complete page in the destination field. The destination URL is the URL of the page that is shown when the user converts or completes the conversion process. Rather than enter the entire URL, we want to look for something that's distinctive in that URL that will allow us to track our goal using only this page. Since none of the other web pages in the Google Store have submit order in the URL, we'll use this to identify our order complete page. You'll notice that if we select equals to, type forward slash submit order, and click verify at the bottom, we don't see any conversion data for this goal. This is because the Submit Order page is part of a longer, dynamic URL. In order to track this goal, we'll actually need to use what's called a regular expression and enter the value forward slash submit order to indicate that the URL preceding it can be variable. Now, if we click Re-Verify, we can see that the conversion rate is above zero, which means we'll be able to track data. We'll cover regular expressions more in an advanced analytics course. If you want to assign a monetary amount to the conversion goal, you can flip the value toggle to on and type in the amount that each conversion is worth. You would only use this if each conversion was worth a consistent amount for your business. For example, if each newsletter signup was worth $1 to your business, 
you could set a goal value equal to one. Since we're tracking Google store order completions and each order is a different amount, we'll leave this value set to off for now. If we wanted to track actual revenue made from purchases, we would need to turn on e-commerce tracking, which we discuss in our e-commerce analytics course. Once you've verified your settings, flip the funnel switch to on to add the funnel steps. Each funnel step represents an action on your website that needs to be taken in order to accomplish this goal. In this case, we'll need to include a unique part of the URL for each page the user has to view in order to check out and make a purchase. We can name each step in our funnel and add the unique part of the URL. If a step is required to complete the goal, move the required toggle to yes. For example, if we only wanted users who entered the funnel on the first step to show up in our funnel visualization report, we could set the first step to required. Note that the goal completion numbers in the conversions report will not be affected by the funnel you've set up, even if you've made some of the steps required, as these steps are only reported in the funnel visualization report. Once you click Save, you'll see the goal appear in the goals list. To see your goal metrics, navigate back into the reporting view and under the conversions reports, click Goals, and then Overview. More importantly, you can now view goal data in almost all of your other Google Analytics reports, like the audience and acquisition reports. To see the related funnel visualization, under Conversions, click the Funnel Visualization Report. Scrolling down, you can see user activity in each step of the funnel and how many users proceeded through each step. If you see users dropping off dramatically at a particular step, you may want to investigate further. There could be technical issues with this stage of the funnel, preventing users from proceeding. In addition to creating your own custom goals, the Analytics Solutions Gallery offers many goals built by other users that you can add to your analytics account to use for your own business purposes.